Today I will be giving a tutorial on the UML VT, which allows you to verify UML activities with different model checkers. And the way that we get started is by first opening the perspective. So we just open perspective and select UML VT. And you will notice that we now have the UML VT menu in Eclipse's main toolbar. And you can see that there are different model checkers that you can choose from. And the way that you get started is by first creating a new project. And we come down to the UMLVT project, and there's two different project wizards. You can create an empty project if you would like to create your own model, or you can create an example project if you'd like to use a pre-made model, which is what we're going to do for the tutorial. And we'll just give it a name like tutorial. And you have one of two choices. You can build an infusion pump or a simple model, but we're going to stick with the simple model for the tutorial. And now you can see that it created a project for us. Right here, what you're seeing is the Papyrus representation of your model. We can go ahead and take a look at it by switching to the Papyrus perspective. And we just double click on the model. And now what we will see are two different activities. It begins with Activity 1 by receiving a signal. You can see the control flow will eventually take it to Activity 2, which is another activity diagram defined down here which begins with an initial node, and you, you can just follow the control flow. It can go here and send a signal, or it can go over here to the output. And the way that we verify the system is with our requirements editor. This is used to specify temporal logic formulas. So something we might want to ask it is, is it possible for this action to be executed? And one of the features of our editor is content assist. So if you don't know what's allowed, you don't know what to type, you can hit control space and it will tell you what's allowed. So for our example, we're going to say EF. And one action we can test to see is activity two, action B. So we'll take a look at the model to see what we're asking. We're asking it inside of activity two, is it possible for this action to be executed? And the way that we verify it is we first save the editor page. We click on the model, we go back to our perspective, and we choose our desired model checker. In this case, we're going to be using UPAW. And then you hit verify. And what it's telling you down here is that it's taking your model and it's transforming it into a mathematical representation, which is used for the model checkers. And now it's going to ask us which system we would like to verify. And you can see that we're using activity two. So we'll select activity two and then hit verify. You can see that the formula is satisfied. And this is because if you look at activity two, there's a clear path from the initial node that takes you to action B. And you'll also notice in the source gen that it automatically generates the mathematical representation. This is one of the aspects of our tool that you don't have to understand formal methods, but the model checker understands this. And another thing we can test to verify is activity one, action two, action B. So this is a little bit more complicated, but what we're just asking it is starting in activity one, can we get to the same action as we did before, which is right here? And the way that you verify it is you first save the editor page, you click on your model, and you hit verify. And now we're looking at activity one. So we select activity one and we hit verify. We now see that the formula is not satisfied. And this is because activity one begins by looking for a signal. And this signal is not sent until later in the control flow down by activity two. As you can see, the signal is sent here, but activity one is waiting to receive the signal here. So there's absolutely no way that this action can ever be reached. And now we can just try different model checkers to see how the results may differ. And the way you do that is you go to the menu and you just select a different model checker, for instance, NUSMV. And all you have to do is click on the model and then select verify. And then we choose the model activity we are verifying, which is activity one, and we hit verify. And what NUSMV does is it provides a counterexample so what it's saying is that this is not possible, and here's why. 
it's essentially going through every single possible state and saying there's no way that it can get to this action. And now we're going to do the same thing, but now we're going to try with spin and see what it says. So you just select the model, and then you select verify. And we're still looking with activity 1. And then you just wait for the results and spin. You can see it's essentially telling us the same thing. And that's all for the tutorial. Thanks for watching. If you're interested in more information, you can find it in the description below.